it's the dream once you uh, realize that you've got the ability to go to a Division One program and uh, especially one of this caliber at the University of Portland. It's uh, what everyone comes in wanting to do is be an All-American because we've you know, had guys on the podium for now, I believe it's three years in a row, maybe a few more. And so it's, you know, it's an honor to be filling the shoes of guys like Woody Kincaid, Scott Fobble, David Perry, Reed Buchanan, just, you know, some amazing, talented guys that were, came before me and now, uh, you know, kind of taking that, that next chapter of University of Portland cross country and track and field. Coming here, it was 50-50 just to make the final and then to get himself on the podium is uh, really a, as much as we can ask for. Just phenomenal finish. Uh, that's uh, the highest by any Portland guy ever in the 1500. So, uh, you know, for our school record holder to come here and, and validate himself with first team All-American, top eight or first team All-American. And uh, that's, that's just a huge thing. I was kind of expecting this race to be as fast, if not faster, than Wednesdays. Uh, but getting out that first 300, I wanted to stay in the back, stay relaxed as possible, and let everyone else kind of control the pace. And I realized uh, that we'd come through slower than I was expecting. So then it was trying to figure out the best way to move up and uh, try to get in better position because it was a slower race that was going to be more tactical. So I made a move coming with about 700 meters to go. and. Uh, on the back stretch there, moved around, got into about fifth or sixth. Uh, and as I was trying to settle into the pack and settle into the pace, uh, the rest of the field made another move at the 600 meter mark, uh, 600 meters to go. And so that, I, you know, you could, I could feel it and it hurt a lot. <laughs> I went from moving up, got into uh, fifth or sixth place to back to 12th. And uh, it's not a fun place to be with uh, 500 meters to go. Showed a lot of toughness, uh, some patience, uh, remain positive, uh, did, just really did everything you have to do at the end there to go from uh, 11th to 7th. Um, kept his head, followed the guys down the back stretch, uh, started feeling pretty tired uh, coming around the corner. And I asked him, I said, did you, did you count the guys in front of you? And he says, I didn't want to waste any extra energy. So that, that's how hard that is. Coming through 400 meter mark, there was some pushing, some shoving, a couple guys stumbled up and uh, kind of got shot out the back. And so then it was just trying to keep uh, my head down, keep moving forward. And coming around the turn, uh, the Bowerman curve there, you know, I was feeling strong, started to push, but then about 70 meters to go, that race on Wednesday really caught up to me and I could really feel myself tightening up. Uh, it was hurting a lot, but knew that I was right around eighth place and I needed to get as many guys as I could to ensure that I was you know, All-American and just as high as I could finish at the national meet. He just said, hey, let's shut it down and get ready for cross country. So that's his call. He's the guy who has to do the work. And uh, that, that tells you, one, that this is an emotional hit that he put everything into. Uh, we, that's what we want. And um, we also want cross country focus. So, um, you know, he's, he's a team leader, him and Nick Hogger, and uh, we're talking uh, podium finish is the goal next fall. So uh, he doesn't want to jeopardize anything with uh, summer training to, to take those really high team goals straight to the bank in the fall. Really excited to come into the fall and hopefully do something special like the team in uh, 2014. We, uh, we want to do uh, something special again. So I'm super excited and just can't wait to put in the, the summer miles and come back in shape and ready to go.